Hi everyone, it's Albert here. Today let's solve the contest question, find latest group of size m. Okay, the question statement. So given an array and its uh, items are the permutation of numbers from 1 to n, and n is the size of the array. And we also have a binary string of size n that they are initially set all bits to 0. So every element in the array means that uh, the nth bit on in the binary string will be changed uh, from 0 to 1. So for example 1, the first element is 3, which means that the third bit in the binary string will be updated to 1. And in this binary string, we will have a group of uh, 1 and its length is 1. And, and in step two, uh, we will change the fifth bit from zero to one. And since uh, these two ones in a binary string, they are not conti uh, con contiguous, they are separated by zero. So now we have uh, two group of one and their length are both one. And as of step three, we will update the first bit to one. And now, now the groups become uh, three uh, group one and their length are all one and at step four we will update the second bit to one but now we can see that there is one group of ones that the length is three and also one group of one is length is one so that now the groups become uh, one 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 and one and at the last step uh, all the bit will be changed to one so the group now becomes a, a length of five of ones. And the question also has another input of m, which is the length of group of one. And the question uh, wants us to return what is the latest uh, step at which there exists a group of ones that the length uh, is exactly m. So for example one, the latest step that the groups has the group of length that the length equals to one is at uh, step four. And the intuition to solve this problem, the algorithm is using a, like a simplified version of union find. And the data structures we have to use are two arrays. One is uh, called the length at index, uh, the other one I call it the count of at length. And let me show you what I mean by, uh, by the code. And my solution is inspired by the on the code, but I try to make the naming uh, more explicit and easier to understand. So first, uh, let's initialize the length at index and the count of length arrays. And the length at index uh, array, its size has to be the length of array plus two and cut of length is size is length of array uh, plus one. And then we go through the uh, ARR array. First uh, is to get at each index, get its left neighbor's uh, group of one's length, and also its right neighbor, uh, the length of group of one. And every time we will ca calculate what would be the new length of the group of one and then we update the length at index uh, array at index index minus left length and in the index plus right then or to the new length and finally we will update the count of length array uh, at index left of then it has to uh, subtract one and at the index new length it has to add uh, one. So finally, if we have m in the uh, count of that array, then we will update the result uh, variable. And it will be more clear to visualize this process uh, in action. So the real meaning of the array uh, length at index is uh, in a binary string uh, at each step, what is the length of the substring once 
at uh, every index. So for example, uh, at step one, the third uh, bit will be updated from zero to one. So now we have one group of substring one, which is at index three. So we will update the length at index array, the index three from zero to one. And the meaning of count of length array is that its index is the length of the substring ones. And the, the value in the array is how many groups do we have for each length. So uh, in this step, we only have one of uh, substring one whose length is only one. And since we have a substring uh, one in the groups, so we will update uh, rest to one. And next step, uh, update the fifth bit uh, to one. So the groups, now we have two uh, substring of one. So we update the length at index array, at in index five from zero to one. And the count of length, now we have two groups of uh, substring one and increment the uh, rest by one. Now it becomes two. And step three, uh, pretty similar. Now we have uh, then at index one, three, five will, uh, will be one. And count of then, we have three groups of uh, substring one. Okay, and step four, uh, as you can see, we will update the second bit to one. So now the groups become a substring of uh, one, one, one and a substring of one. So basically a substring of length three and a substring of uh, length one. So what we need to do here at the length at index is that at index two, which is like a second bit of the binding string, now the length will become three. Uh, we will, and we will also update the value of its left and right neighbor as well. And to update uh, the values, we will calculate the new length, which is the left length plus right length plus one. And we use uh, this new, new value to update the length at index array. Okay, and next is to up update the count of length array. Since now uh, we only have one substring one, and, and one group of substring one, one, one. So at index one, it will become uh, one. Uh, at index three, it will be updated from zero to one. And the last step, we will update the fourth uh, bit to one. So now uh, the groups will only have the string of uh, one, 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 one. So at the index length at index array, we will update the fourth index uh, value from zero to five. And then we will update uh, the count of length array. Now uh, in the groups, we don't have any substring of length, uh, length one, but we have one group of uh, substring whose length is five. And if you notice here, uh, when we are updating the length and index, we will update uh, the index one and index five at the same time. And these are the leftmost and rightmost index of the uh, current substring. And the index between them, they are not actually updated, but it doesn't matter because we are not going to use uh, these uh, values anymore. So this is a valid approach. And to review, so the algorithm uh, behind this question is like a simplified version of a union find algorithm. And the data structures we use here are uh, two arrays. It's uh, to use the length at index array and count of length array to keep track of uh, how many groups of substring ones and their length to update the result and time complexity of 
of this approach is linear time. Space is also uh, linear. And if you are using Python, I would highly recommend you to use the Python debugger and the breakpoint function to keep track of what is happening uh, every time in the for loop. That would be easier to understand the process flow. Okay, and that will be all for today. I hope this video uh, helped you to understand uh, this question. So if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one.